from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your weather tonight. Cloud second round as we head through the overnight hours toward early on Saturday morning. And that insulating blanket keeps us in the upper 60s. Notice a 20% chance here on each of the icons overnight. Can't rule out a stray shower. Most of us do stay dry as we head deeper into the overnight, especially after midnight. A few lingering showers shifting off to the west. That's the remnants of the afternoon and early evening activity. Can't rule out another shower or two coming north out of central Alabama into our viewing area, but the, vast, but the vast majority of us stay dry overnight toward daybreak, starting out in the upper 60s to near 70, with clouds hanging tough around the area, but a little more sunshine by Saturday afternoon gets us up into the mid 80s or so, but maybe a stray shower or a thunderstorm, even though most of us will stay dry, we have put a 20% chance of rain in for our Saturday, just in case, but again, most of you likely to stay dry, Clouds start to thin out later into the afternoon and the evening as that deeper moisture shifts off to the west back into West Tennessee and through Mississippi. So we'll have decreasing clouds here going into the evening. That allows us to drop into the mid to upper 60s for morning lows by daybreak here on our Sunday. And then high pressure building back into the area keeps the rain chances off to the west Sunday into Labor Day. On our Monday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy here. Temperatures coming up as we into the first part of next week as well. Mid to upper 80s for our weekend here, getting closer to 90, if not into the lower 90s, as we hit Labor Day into the first half of next week. But no big runaway heat here for at least the next seven days. We're watching the tropics carefully. We have the post-tropical circulation that was once Hurricane Adalia out in the Western Atlantic. That's moving away. We have the remnants, or what's left, of Franklin moving away and trying to absorb Jose that's out there. We've had Gert come back temporarily. That's recurving out into the Atlantic. We've had Tropical Depression 12 get named. That's staying out into the Atlantic. What we are watching is a strong wave coming off the west coast of Africa. It's going to be a few days, I think, before this has development potential, but environmental conditions across the open Atlantic will be more favorable for this to become our next named system the next name on the list is Katia, unless another system takes it. This will be headed on more of a westerly track. Now, there's still going to be a window the second half of next weekend to next weekend for this to possibly recurve off of the east coast of the United States out into the West Atlantic. But there are a lot of question marks with that. The big takeaway is for at least the next seven days, this will not be a threat to the mainland of the United States, but it's one we'll have to watch after five to seven days to see where it tracks, but way too far out to try to guess where that may be. But we'll be watching it carefully. And keep in mind, we are headed toward the heart of the Atlantic hurricane season. The peak of it start happens rather on September 10th. So we have to watch these things very carefully as earlier this week with the Dahlia proved very clearly for us. So mid to upper 60s to start our early Saturday morning. If you're up early this, this early on a Saturday morning, mostly cloudy here too partly cloudy, temperature starting amid the upper 60s, maybe a stray shower, but most of us dry, and then it can't rule out a stray shower or a thunderstorm around here for our Saturday, but again, most of us dry, chance of rain is only 20%, daytime highs up into the mid 80s or so, a bit warmer for Sunday with a little more sunshine around, and that's the same for Labor Day on Monday as well, and then we're getting into the 90s for everyone, I do think probably lower 90s Sunday and Monday and Tuesday for North Alabama, but everybody into the lower 90s for the second half of the week. And we might eventually have to throw in a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms here for the second half of the week. But right now with so many questions in the model data, for now, we're gonna leave that off, but we may have to bump up rain chances, especially Thursday and Friday. There's a look to latest seven day forecast. Ron Wilson's in the Weather Center through the weekend, keeping you covered with all your latest local weather.